Hey guys, today I'll be looking at a hairpiece sent to me by Wigshi, which is a budget-friendly human hair wig manufacturer based in China who sells directly to the end consumer. I am actually waiting for a full-size wig to be um, made from scratch by this company, but in the meantime, they've asked me if I could have a look at one of their hair pieces and review it for you. So, so she comes in a really sturdy um, box. She comes packaged in a um, really nice satin bag and also comes with some accessories like a cute little satin hairband, which does come really handy. You see, one of the advantages of ordering from a company like Wixi is that not only they, they are budget friendly, but you've also got a choice of color. You've got a choice of the cup size. It comes in three different sizes. You can pick your own length and the density. So, for example, this is a small cup size. The density is 150%, so it is very decent density. The length is 18 inches long, and it's pretty much one length in color light brown. And as you can see, guys, there are some strawberry undertones in the shade. It's a really high quality of the hair fibers. It's very soft, it's very very smooth. Now I haven't washed this um, wig fold just yet so I don't know what's gonna, how it's gonna look when it's dry but I can already tell you guys the hair feels wonderful. So this piece here guys is called a hat fall wig and the reason it's called wig is because it comes with a full-size cup that you just wear it under your hat or a scarf. As you can see guys, the entire cup has been made with the same material, stretcher elastic material. There is no extended nape, no ear tabs, no lace front or monofilament feature. Instead we're getting that little strip of poly material right at the front where you can add tape or adhesive. The wefts have been sewn directly into the cap, as you can see here, guys, and there is quite a lot of them, providing you with loads of volume. Okay, so let's put her on. I'm going to do that from the back. It does look a little bit silly, because it's not meant to be worn like this, but I just wanted to show you how it would look on your head when you first try her on. So the size and the circumference is definitely small. However, what I'm finding is that there is a lot of material here at the back. So the cup is definitely very deep. Let me just show you at the back. This wig fold is not going anywhere. It is firmly on my head but it's not tight or uncomfortable. There is elastic all over the top and there's also an elastic band running from through the um, seam of the hat fold underneath. So it's definitely very secure on my head. Let me give you a little demonstration here. That hair looks so so good as well guys. Okay so one of the things I wanted to show you is how the finish here on the sides look. Obviously when you are in a hat most of that would be hidden but if you were maybe choose to wear something slightly higher you might want to cut few little baby hairs or pull out some of your um, bio hair on the sides. I think this is a really nice piece, it's really comfortable and honestly guys you can't beat the feel of human hair on your skin and on your face, it feels 
really, really wonderful. And before you ask if this um, cup leaves a mark on my forehead, there's a tiny line here where the cup has been sitting on my forehead. And because there is no um, real way of adjusting the cup, you don't really have much play for the circumference. So picking the right size of the cup is a key. There isn't a lot of bulk on the sides. So when I am putting my hat on, it doesn't squeeze or squash my head unnecessarily. It still feels really comfortable with a slightly tighter hat that hasn't got enough give in the circumference. This is one of my other favorite hats I purchased. It's a Japanese linen, very thin summer hat, and it's just perfect combined with this beautiful piece. How cute does that look in ponytails? I would recommend, however, if you are going to plait your hair, wear a slightly longer um, cap or a hat just to hide the nape because it isn't extended. Now guys, if you wanted to wear it with a scarf or a bandana, I feel like because of the nature of that material, you might find the scarf slice sliding backwards. So put a little pin in it and that would be perfect. All right, guys, let's check out some different hats, shall we? I hope you've enjoyed watching my review. Head to the description where you can find a discount code and more details. Thank you to Wigshi for sending me this beautiful piece and thank you for watching. Bye!